<laughs> Salutations everybody, it's Eventual Vatum. I'm going to be doing the very first Q&A session of this channel. Just my channel has recently became a year old and surpassed 6,000 subscribers, which by the way I'm eternally grateful for, I never would have dreamed I'd get to this point in just about a year. I feel it's time to do something a little different, something a little more interactive with my viewers. If any of you have questions for me, you can leave them in the comment section of this video or on Twitter, or on my Discord server as well. If you leave them in my Discord server, there's a Q&A submissions channel. If you want to leave them in any place else, just list Q&A in your comment and then follow it with your question. Also, I'm sorry if I butcher anyone else's name in this process, it's kind of hard to pronounce people's names sometimes. Anyways, let's start with our very first Q&A. Internet Pancake starts off with, What inspired you to start your channel? It's simple, really. Halo is my favorite series, I love editing videos, I didn't really know what else I want to do with my life, and here we are. Sorry it was a complex answer, but that's really it. He also asks me, <clears throat> What's your favorite Halo game, and your favorite weapon from that game? Ah, nice and controversial question. Still a good one though, so no worries. Also, just a disclaimer, if anybody asks me a question in all caps, I am going to like, you know, yell into my microphone as I read it. Ultimately, Halo Custom Edition is my favorite Halo game, but if you're going to go by the main series, it's gotta be Halo Combat Evolved. The gameplay is simple and addictive as hell, and it easily has the best campaign overall in my opinion. As for my favorite weapon in Halo 1, it's easily the Plasma Rifle. It's my best friend on legendary run-throughs of the game, and I just love how it stuns multiplayer opponents. Every single Plasma Rifle since Halo 1 has become a massive disappointment in comparison, unfortunately. The Waterlord 27 asks, If you have read any of the Halo novels, which one is your favorite, and which novel would make a good game or animated movie? For me, it's First Strike for both. I actually agree with you there on First Strike. That should have became its own game a long time ago. In fact, during the Halo Reach beta, I was theorizing that Reach was going to eventually have a campaign expansion, something like ODST, based on the events of First Strike due to the fact that the game was already loosely, and I mean loosely, based on the Fall of Reach novel, as well as the introduction of the First Strike medal, which you can earn by scoring the first kill in the round. It'd be cool to see a cutscene where the frigate UNSC Gettysburg attaches to the Covenant Cruiser Ascendant Justice. As for my personal favorite Halo novel, it's gonna have to go to The Shadow of Intent. There's so much in this novel that just puts a huge smile on my face. Joseph Staten's writing Halo lore again, Urtas Vadum back in the action, a female Sanghealy being accepted into the ranks, a badass grunt by the name of Stolt, who previously 1v1 a Spartan and sent them packing, while also being in charge of other Sanghealy. Overall, it's a stellar read in my opinion. A great setting, taking place after Halo 3 so we can see what Urtas has been up to, compelling characters, and fantastic action sequences. Drax asks, What is the best ice cream flavor? There is an objectively correct answer here and I will judge you if you say the wrong thing. Oh Drax, prepare yourself for massive disappointment! The best flavor is strawberry. Strawberry. Anyone who thinks otherwise is a heretic and shall perish. Lothar Matthias asks, Are you planning to ever do vlogs? Maybe someday. Ultimately it depends on where I go though. I'd rather do my first vlog at a huge convention such as Halo Fest, PAX, or even Heat 3 if I ever get the chance to go. Cookie Pui asks, Which version of the elites are your favorites? Can it include SPV updated malls and such? Well, as you can see, Halo 2 Sanghealy have the best design by far. I love how expressive they are. In terms of fighting opposing Sanghealy though, Combat Evolved has the best enemy Sanghealy as they're difficult but also fair, so it's your fault if you die. Sticky Fingers McSturm asks, by the way, fantastic name. Seeing as all the future Halo games according to Microsoft will be coming to PC, what do you think about the possibility for the custom mapping community to sort of return to what it was back in Halo CE? Do you reckon we will have the tools other than Forge to import our own models and shit to make our own maps? Well, I'd love to have the future Halo games be way more flexible with custom content. Those are the kind you'd see in Custom Edition. It just ultimately depends on whether or not Microsoft will allow 343 to follow through with adding such an open-ended modding support to the game. While not trying to sound like a 343 fanboy or anything, I feel many Halo fans are pointing fingers at the wrong people with the many directions that developers have to make when developing their games. They have to abide by what Microsoft wants them to do at the end of the day, and I'm sure things such as Rec Packs and Blix Packs are not ideas that the developers of each respective game came up with themselves. MrBoring.com asks, Do you have a Steam account? If you do, then what games do you play on Steam? My account is Vengeance417, edgy name, right? I'm going to be expanding my PC library in the near future and it's kind of barren right now. Besides for buying all the Halo games there to support the idea of more Halo games to release on Steam, I also have various games like CSGO, Skyrim, Battlefront 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, The Portal Games, Gary's Mod, and one of my favorite games of all time, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Stick asks, What type of modded Xbox console do you have? I assume some sort of XDK since you can play betas. Nah, I don't use an Xbox dev kit. 
I just use a retail RGH. As you can see here, I went with the really ugly looking black case and pink LED light combination to make this shit look as bootleg as humanly possible. And I'm saving this question for last as an example of how you should tread carefully with what you ask me because I will get triggered if you strike a nerve. GameCheat13 asks, how big yo dick? BOY! It's quite clear that you're cheating, basement dwelling, campaign forging, AI battle ass doesn't understand a Sanghealy's anatomy. So please do some fucking research before you ask me such a stupid question like that ever again. If you must know, we Sanghealy have two pairs of gonads and seven insemination organs used for copulation. Each of them are a foot long at full mast. Now take that enlightening knowledge and stay woke, you fuck. Don't let that ignorance get the best of you, bro. And that's it for- Oh wait, there's one more question? Oh, um, hold on, let me see this here. Uh, just give me one second. Let me just rummage through here. The Saudi boy asks how small yo d- Oh, come on! And that's it for our very first Q&A. Before we go, let me make three very important shoutouts. First one goes to Ryface for making me the sickest intro I've ever seen. Next is for Dasadi Boy for having amazing Halo modding content and also lending me a hand at Halo 2 Vista modding such as what you're seeing right now. And then this next shoutout goes to Exotic Valkyrie for not only being an awesome channel, but for lending me helper in a machinima short a few weeks ago. Make sure to subscribe to these channels as I feel all three of them deserve way more subscribers than they already have. And follow them on Twitter as well. If you want to see more of my content and if, and only if, you enjoy what you saw today, Hit the like button and subscribe for more Halo content on this channel. And follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server. This is Eventual Venom, and I'll see you on the great journey.